Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be showing you how you can update your machine that has Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any data. And this tutorial is for those that have those machines that are not supported by Windows 11, mine included. So I have a machine, which is a ZBook. Core i7, 6500U, 16 GB of RAM, but let me show you. Mm -hmm. So according to this software app, PC Health, where is it? Okay. It's a 6500U CPU. So, check now. This is the PC health check. And this PC does not meet 11 system requirements. So there's this TPM 2.0 must be supported to enable this PC and there is the processor is not. The rest are good. For us to be able to update, we need a Windows 10 ISO file and Windows 11 ISO file with the same language. So if it's English, both files needs to be English. If it's English international, international on both files so first things first you open the windows iso double click it you open it so drag the files into a new folder yeah just like that so like i told you earlier your files your windows need to be from the same or to have the same language that is if it's english it's the same english if it's english international both need to be the same so let me fast forward and see. Okay, for you to get the ISO files, just go to Microsoft website. Download the both ISOs there, they are free. And if your Windows was activated, Windows 10, your Windows 11 will also be activated. Yeah, it's very, very easy. So now we are going to unzip the Windows 11 and open the sources file. There is this uh -huh, DLL file called install.wim. So we are going to drag the one for Windows 11 into the Windows 10. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Where is it? So we're going to drag it into Windows 10 and replace the file in the destination. So basically what we are doing here, we are cheating the system that we are installing Windows 10. By the end of the day, it, it will be Windows 11 installation. It will be an update. So let's create the file. And let's fast forward the video. So now we are going to the okay to our folder that is Windows 11 update files. Yes. Then we are going to run the setup.exe. So Windows. So if you see here it's Windows 10 install. Then make sure you Check, not right now. Don't check for updates. Don't check for updates. Then next. Checking your PC. This might take quite a while. So, yeah, just be patient. 
and make sure in that previous step you check not now and we are getting a few things ready yes applicable notices okay accept choosing what to keep so now this is the part that you will you'll see nothing will be lost you will get to keep your applications and your uh, what are they called and your data So hit OK on this page, hit OK. Continuing, we'll reinstall display language. Okay, to check. So hit OK. So making sure your PC has enough space. And now see, this is the part I was telling you. Install Windows 11 Pro and keep personal files and apps. Then you can see the then hit on install. It's hit on install. And from there now, we get to this installation screen. So from the previous step, you could see it was install Windows 11 Pro, but here it's installing Windows 10. Just don't worry. At the end of the day, you will have Windows 11 in, on your system. So this is quite a long process. So we'll just fast forward and I'll see you when we have the Windows 11 installed.
now we are we have our desktop here and let's confirm it's windows 11 so let's confirm it where is uh -huh. so Let's type BX tag. Uh -huh. Yes, and most ZBook, Windows 11 Pro 64 bit. Uh -huh, you can see it's the same CPU that was 6500U. Yeah. And we have our Windows 11 installed. And we also have all our softwares. We have our desktop as it was. Our drivers are also there. Let's check the PC health check. Uh -huh. Check now. And th they are also saying that this PC does not meet the requirements. Same same message that it was giving us, but if you check on the on this the system diagram, we have Windows 11 installed and it's working. Yeah, Windows 11 is working. So basically, you can use that method I've shown you to get your Windows. 11 installed on the machines that are not supported by windows 11 yeah and guys make sure you like the video share subscribe comment and if if you want any of these wallpapers that were on my machine i have a channel a telegram channel that we give them for free I leave the link in the description box. So thank you for watching. Until next time.